area, just like Manhattan. So that area is empty on Sunday. But on the other hand, it's really, really crowded. All the Filipino ladies will occupy the whole central district. So government will close down the street for them for the, for, to do the gathering. Yeah. They will do singing, so dancing, picnic, uh, pray on the street. And sometimes you can see they're cutting their hair on the street. So on the weekend, we call the area Little Manila. <laughs> So actually, in fact, in Hong Kong, one-child policy does not supply in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, we can have as many children as we want. But the problem is in Hong Kong, now we are our population, we have negative growth. So what I mean negative growth is we have more people die than more people born. Because of the one-child policy? No, no, we have no uh, one-child policy. We can have as many children as we want. But now local people, we don't want children. The problem is too expensive to raise kids. Yeah. And recently, there's a local bank, Hang Seng Bank, they made a TV commercial. The reason they do that, they're trying to encourage local people to have more savings to, uh, to raise their kid, to, uh, a boy or girl. So they hire one of the most famous local athletes. Her name is called Miss Lee, Lee Lai Sheng. And she's the first gold medalist for Hong Kong instead of kids. Cheaper. <laughs> So local children in Hong Kong now, we enjoy 12-year free and compulsory education. And this is new, started in the year of 2007. So before the year of 2007, we will only enjoy nine years free and compulsory education. After that nine years, we had to pay. But now the government increased up to 12 years. After the handover in Hong Kong, English is still mandatory for us to learn in school. We have to learn English since we in the day one of the kindergarten. We have to learn from the alphabet. So when we go to temple, we might bring some food offering to offer to the Taoism God. We might bring some fish, pork, duck, chicken. But in Taoism religion, we never use beef. Yeah. No cow. Okay. The reason is, uh, cow back in the old days, we were using cow to work on the farm. Cow, they are just like our cultivator. So since we work with cow very often, we have a good relationship with the cow, just like dog to you. You don't eat your dog something. Like my parents, they have never tried beef in their entire life. Most the older people, they don't eat beef. I used to eat beef, but I quit eating beef for um, more than 10 years. So I haven't eaten beef since. Yeah. But young people, they like McDonald's. They like beef steak. Yeah. <laughs> in Taoism religion. Yeah. So in Buddhism religion, uh, uh, when people they go to a Buddhist monastery, they only bring some fruit, some flour, or some plain water. In Buddhism religion, they have five rules. The first rule, no killing. So uh, Buddhism religion, they believe all the living things have the right to live. Human beings, if we have no right to kill them and eat them. So no killing is first rule. Yeah. Second rule, no sex, no alcohol, no stealing, and no cursing. So these are the five rules Buddhism religion. Sounds boring, huh? <laughs> no, they don't reproduce. Yeah, well, yeah, they don't. Yeah, so they will. People will convert into the religion. Yeah. No, 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 no. They won't die that. So back in the old day, before the butcher, they slaughter the animal. They will explain to the animal. They will tell them. It is not me. I only do this for a living. So next life, you come back to retaliate. Don't look for me. Look for the one who ate you. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, huh? You can see there's a, a gas station. So in Hong Kong, uh, gasoline are very expensive. Uh, in Hong Kong, we pay 10 US dollar per gallon. 10 US. So ta gasoline is a taxable item. Actually, in Hong Kong, we have tax-free port. So most of the things we don't have to pay tax, except uh, the luxury item. So gas petroleum is one of them. So uh, tobacco, tobacco, alcohol, perfume, car and gasoline, these are the taxable items. So when they came in Hong Kong, we tax them, or, uh, tax them. So when we buy them, we just buy, pay the lump sum. To drive in Hong Kong are very expensive. Like a uh, car, we have 100% tax. 
to buy a small Japanese car like Honda Civic in Hong Kong, they worth around maybe 34,000 US dollars. Uh, the most expensive to drive is parking. Residential area, like for example, where I live, if I have a car, it will cost 300 US dollars per month to park the car. Yeah, very expensive. So in Hong Kong, uh, few, not many people, they, they have a lot, they have a car, but they will not drive to work. If they drive to work, where they work will be, they have to pay five to 600 US dollars to park, which is crazy. In Hong Kong, most of us, we are using public transport to commute back and forth to work, yeah. So in Hong Kong, we have a very, very good public transport. Like in Hong Kong, we have two railway systems. The first one is called MTR, Mass Transit Railway. Subway, they run underneath the city. Run, uh, they carry approximately 4 million people per day. So our sub subway system is one of the busiest uh, subway systems in the world. And the other one is called KCR, Kowloon Canton Railway. It's a railway system. They run above the ground, started from Kowloon to go to the New Territory. So now most of the people, they're living in New Territory. So they take KCR train, come in the city, and change into the MTO. And also public bus, double bag bus. So we use a lot of double bag bus in Hong Kong here. So coming up right in front of us, now we're going to use the tunnel to go across to Victoria Harbor. So this is the first tunnel we have in Hong Kong open. In 1972, total distance of this tunnel, two kilometers, one and a quarter mile. Deepest part of the tunnel is 80 feet below the Victoria Harbor, 24 meter. And this tunnel are very busy. Average in a day, they handle around 180,000 vehicles per day, 24 hour non-stop. Now, all together, we have six tunnels linking up Kowloon to Hong Kong. And this is the first tunnel we have in. This tunnel handles most of the traffic. The reason is this is the cheapest to use and also the most convenient in location. So this is right in the middle of the Hong Kong Island and Kowloon, and this is a paid tunnel. And our coach, we pay 10 Hong Kong dollars. And for the private car, they pay $20. So compared to the other one, it's a lot cheaper. We have a tunnel in the east, double the price. And we have a tunnel in the west, that's the newest, uh, four times more. Yeah. Like coach, the newest tunnel, we pay 90 Hong Kong dollars. So $10 and $90, so you get quite a big difference. Yeah. Before we had this tunnel, we were using car ferry to go across the Victoria Harbor. That wasn't efficient. Took more than 45 minutes. In Hong Kong, time is money. Eventually, the government decided to construct this tunnel. They, pro they took approximately four and a half of years to construct this tunnel. So this tunnel is made of 18 pieces of prefabricated tube, which they bear on the land. I saw the picture. Each piece, they were huge. And then they escaped the sea, then took a charge, and then they summed them down, and then they put the sediment there. He has no direct contact with the sea water. fashion industry and also jewelry industry are very reputable. So in the past 30 years in Hong Kong, we have produced a lot of world-class designer. We also take a lot of foreign students coming from over the world, like from Southeast Asia, uh, to come to, learn, to Hong Kong to learn our fashion, jewelry trade, things, things like that. Back in 30 years ago in Hong Kong, we had only two universities. And back by then, it was very difficult for us to continue our university education. Some of the students, they are very smart. They cannot continue, not enough. If their family is wealthy, they can send them abroad back to US, England, Canada, Australia to continue their university education. If not, they have to work for a few years to save them enough money to support themselves to go overseas for further education. 920. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, 1920, 730, 720 local time. So we will leave here 825, okay? 825. I, yeah, sharp, yeah. Because we have to walk we are some distance to catch the Star Ferry, okay? So we're taking the 845 Star Ferry. They don't wait, okay? Um, they don't wait. Is that 825? Star Ferry. So we'll get off just a bit further down, so I'll give you a meeting. So this is the Avenue of Star, so when you walk further down, there's a Bruce Lee statue. 